mathematics lesson today we are on the topic geometry and uh, under that topic geometry the subtopic of our today is a construction of a circle passing through the vertices of a triangle construction of a circle passing through the vertices of a triangle now you are now wondering what are vertices but i'm sure majority of you know what vertices are vertices these are corners or the points of a triangle the corners or the points of a triangle for example if this is the triangle then what are the vertices or where are the vertices the joints these ones the corners they are the ones we are referring to as the vertices so we want to construct a, a circle that is going to pass through these vertices that a circle that should be able to pass through the vertices that's what we want to construct today I want to show you how you can be able to construct a circle that is passing through the vertices of a triangle i'm very much sure you know how to construct a triangle that one you already know how you can do it that to construct a triangle you are required to make a sketch as a pupil you know that make a sketch now look at our example here i want you to follow the steps be very keen follow those steps and i'm very much sure by the end of this lesson majority of you or all of you are going to construct circles passing through uh, the vertices of a triangle i'm very much sure by the end of the lesson you will have enjoyed and you will be able to construct any given uh, circle passing through a triangle a, a construct triangle efg in which angle efg is 45 degrees line ef is 7 centimeters and fg is 6 centimeters draw a circle whose circumference touches the vertices of the triangle then find or get the diameter of the circle this is what you're going to do as a pupil first of all make a sketch a very small sketch that uh, let me make a sketch of what we are going to construct that triangle we have been told it is triangular e f g such that angle e f g and the angle of the side, we are looking of the center one f so at f here we'll measure 45 degrees then EF, line EF is 7 centimeters, line FG is 6 centimeters. After you have constructed the, the triangle, then we want to know how we can be able to construct that circle. So the first thing as a pupil, you are supposed to draw a line that is FG. Draw a line. You draw a line as a pupil. Then mark points F on that line. After marking point F, you want FG at 6 centimeters. Take your compass, measure 6 centimeters. Measure 6 centimeters. Measure six centimeters. Then those six centimeters put the sharp point at point at uh, point F. Then make an arc. Call that point G. This is six centimeters. Then at point F, we want to measure forty-five degrees using our our, com our protractor using your protractor measure 45 degrees at f measure 45 degrees at f make sure that point of intersection of the compact uh, the protractor it's at uh, the center then that line then uh, using the inner scale find 45 degrees using the inner scale find the 45 degrees that is where 45 degrees is then uh, what do you do? Use a ruler, as a pupil, use a ruler, join that point 
to point F. But we have said during the joining, what do you do? Extend that line. You extend that line. Uh -huh. After extending the line, we have now measured this is 45 degrees. Then measure 7 centimeters from F to E. 7 centimeters from F to E. Take your compass. Put on your ruler. Measure 7 centimeters. Measure 7 centimeters. So the 7 centimeters you have measured, put at point F. Then make an arc on that line. So this distance here is 7 centimeters. Which point have we made here? Point E. Now you can join point E to point G. You can join point E and G. You can join point E and G. After joining those two points, you have now constructed the triangle EFG. That one you have done. What are you remaining with? Now constructing a circle that's going to pass through the vertices. Those are the points E, F, and G. Now, how do you construct a circle there? This is a point you need to know. You bisect any two lines. Bisect any two lines. Bisect any two lines that's dropping perpendicular and you have known how to bisect how you have known how to drop a perpendicular so you bisect any two lines here we can say line EF and F G bisect two lines EF or and FG how do you bisect follow the steps put your compass at point E you stretch it such that it is more than a half line E, F. Then, when you have stretched, what do you do? Make one arc here, then make the other arc inside here. Without transferring or changing the radius here of the compass, transfer it to point E. Then, make an arc here, transfer it to point E, Make an arc, one to be accurate. We make an arc, then also without changing, make another arc. After you make the arcs, you'll discover that those arcs are meeting somewhere. They are meeting here, they are also meeting at that particular point. What do you do? Join those two arcs that are meeting. Join the arcs. One to join. Uh -huh, you've joined. We have bisected one line. That is E, F. We are remaining with F, G. We want to bisect this line. So what is the procedure? I'll put my compass at point F. Stretch that compass such that it is more than, it is a, more than a half the length of F, G. So more than a half. Maybe somewhere there. More than a half. So when it is there, I'll make an arc here at the top. Make another arc here at the bottom. Hope you are following. Without changing the radius of that compass, I'll put it at point G. I'll put it at point G. Then make an arc to cross this arc up here. Make another one to cross the arc downwards. Make an arc to cross the one downwards. Then they are joining, you can see these two arcs are joining here and the two ones are joining at that point. What do I do? I join. I now join the two arcs. I join the two arcs. After joining, you will discover that the bisectors, those lines that you have bisected, the bisectors are meeting somewhere. Where are they meeting? They are meeting here. So the lines that have bisected, you will discover that they are meeting somewhere. So the point where they are meeting, call that point O. Call that point O. 
using O with O as the center you can now draw a circle that is passing through those points that with O as the center which means I'll put my compass there at O then try find out it is reaching point F check it is reaching point F then check it's reaching point G so if it is reaching uh, those three points then you can draw a circle then you can draw a circle my board is slippery so I should be very keen but in your book I'm very much sure you will draw commandable circles Good. That is a circle that has passed through the vertices. A circle that has passed through the vertices. Now, this was a, a distance. Remember, this is the distance from the center to the circumference. It is known as the radius. So this distance here is the radius. But the question wants me to get the diameter. Which means I'll transfer this distance to my ruler. I'll transfer the distance to my ruler. After transferring the distance to my ruler, after transferring the distance to my ruler, whatever I'm getting here is the radius. So I'll take that measurement, I multiply it by 2. Are you, are you there? I'll take the distance I've measured here, multiply it by 2. Or I can just even take the ruler, then after taking that ruler, put it at that center O. Then comes to here which is there, uh, the circumference. So this distance here will be the radius. Then take that radius, multiply by 2, you'll get the diameter. You'll be able to get the diameter. I'm very much sure if you do that, then you'll be at home. You'll have known how to construct a circle that is passing through the vertices, the corners. The most challenging part is just during the bisection of lines. And I'm very much sure you know how to bisect. That put your compass there at one point. Then stretch it such that it is more than a half that line. Then make an arc here above. Make another one on the other side. So you are making on opposite side. Make an arc on this side. Make the other one on the opposite side of the line. Transfer the same same radius of the compass to point E. Make an arc on the opposite side, this side and also the other side. You will discover that those arcs are meeting. Then join the two arcs. Do the same to the other line. You will discover that the two lines or the two uh, perpendiculars are meeting somewhere at the center here. So where they are meeting, that will be the center of the circle. Put your compass there, stretch it to reach point E. Check whether it is also reaching point G. Check whether it is also reaching point F. Then you draw the circle. After drawing the circle, go back to the question. Were you asked to get the diameter or the radius? Then you get the correct measurements. I'm very much sure you have done the correct thing and you'll be able to do the correct work. So what I'm leaving you with is an assignment. Primary mathematics. Primary mathematics. I want you to uh, work out question 4. That's exercise 51. Page 72, question number 4 in your primary mathematics. Try out to work out and I know you are going to construct good uh, circles touching the vertices of a triangle. Thank you for joining me in our today's lesson.